Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Smeg washing machine. How to remove the dispenser drawer. This is so you can give it a really good clean because you don't want all the gunk and gunge which builds up in the dispenser drawer going down and getting on your clothes when you're doing a wash. Right, let's get cracking. Now what you're going to need today is you're going to need your wife's toothbrush. Lurgs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? No. Of course not. And you're also going to need a hot soapy wet cloth. Before we get started, there's a link above now about how to install a new washing machine. This is the Smeg washing machine here, and this is an integrated washing machine. So the dispenser drawer is on the top left hand corner. Just pull it out until it reaches a point where it won't go any further. And then what you do is you push this blue button down, which releases the clip, and then that releases the dispenser slash detergent drawer. Now what you want to do is you want to put it in your sink and give it a good wash. Now this level indicator here does actually remove. That gives you better access to give it a really good clean. So fill your sink up with hot soapy water, take your wife's toothbrush and then just give it a really good scrub. Get rid of any residue, any mould and gunk and just make sure that it's in tip top sparkling condition. And before you put the dispenser drawer back, it's definitely worth cleaning the inside of the dispenser drawer area here. And the jets at the top there can get blocked up. So what you want is you want to take your hot soapy wet cloth and just give this a really good clean inside. Be careful if you use a toothbrush in here not to drop it down this hole because if that falls down inside the washing machine then that is a world of pain. And there's a link above now about various how-to guides on all sorts of makes and models of washing machine. Now to put the dispenser drawer back in just line it up with the grooves. To make it a bit easier you can push that blue button back down and then it just slides all the way home. What we'll do next is just open up the door here and just check the drum spins freely and this one is okay. And then we'll just check the rubbers here. So you might have lots of dirt and mould and gunk inside here as well so just give that a good clean again with your hot soapy wet cloth. If it's really grimy you can use a wife's toothbrush again. And then the most important part at the end of this sequence is to put it on the hottest setting that it will go on. Usually that's 90 degrees with no clothes in just to flush out the whole washing machine. And there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. After you've done that wash cycle remember to put your wife's toothbrush back and hope she doesn't notice. And then it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. If there's any other useful videos around here, then please select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel everyone, I really appreciate it.